This is Jason Jones, and in this video I will describe the exchange of two popular hydrophobic single-piece acrylic intraocular lenses. This first lens is an Acrosoft lens that has been in the eye for more than a year. Under soft gel viscoelastic tamponade in the anterior chamber, a 30 gauge hypodermic needle using dispersive viscoelastic dissects the peripheral capsule initiating within the crotch of the haptic optic junctions. And this next area, you can see that placing this on FOSS to the capsular uh, fibrosis uh, does not permit dissection and reinitiating in a tangential fashion with care and effort, we can visco dissect this bag open 360 degrees. The true issue of mobilizing this lens out of the bag is the terminal haptic bulb which becomes fibrosed in capsular membranes. Using a micro forceps to gain traction on the haptic and a blunted round Kuglin hook, I'm able to deglove the terminal bulb from the peripheral capsular bag. On this other haptic, you can see that uh, this is a more efficient manner in terms of grasping down on the haptic and then degloving using this blunt dissection. The lens is then trisected using MST 19 gauge Iowa cutting forceps and the lens is reassembled peripherally uh, to ensure that no pieces are remaining in the eye. After further viscodissection, a capsule tension ring is placed to ensure adequate stabilization of the next lens to go in the eye and that is accomplished readily with good centration. The second lens is an AMO Tecna single piece acrylic and one of the issues here is the change of contour of the optic um, where there is a carrier and care must be taken to achieve good viscodissection and not damage the capsulorexis using the hypodermic needle. Once the viscodissection has been carried out uh, the issue here for this lens in terms of mobilization is its tethering at the notch just off the haptic optic junction. Once this is mobilized centrally, it's just a matter of collapsing the haptic against the capsulorexis and the peripheral haptic thins slightly and readily relieves itself from the peripheral capsule. The lens is then removed in a similar fashion using a trisection technique to maintain a similar wound structure and size. Under additional viscoelastic, a capsular tension ring is also placed for good stability of the replacement IOL. Fibrotic bands can often be stripped and this will permit a better centration of the new lens and we have a successful result. Thank you.